Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me and welcome to your Pisces February 2022 reading. The readings here are different, good, and some of you Pisces have asked me whether or not I do personal one-on-one -on -one clairvoyant readings, and as many of you know, the answer is yes, I do. So just check out the information that's in the description box below, and you can see how easy it is for that to happen from wherever you may be in the world. So, anyway, Pisces, let's get this underway for you now, shall we? Well, it's our usual practice to draw five cards. The reason why I like to get five is because five numerologically is representative of change, among a number of other things. And one thing that is always certain in life is that of change. Now, the question is, are the changes good? Well, we shall see in just a second. It's the month of Valentine's Day, eh? Let's draw some cards. I think you're going to appreciate the imagery on these cards, if I might say. There's the Hierophant. Let's get something from in here. Yeah, the um, there's Justice. The, um, the cards are, the paintings on the cards are really first rate, you know? The type of thing that you would expect to see in an art gallery or something like that. And um, there's the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, but um, the, clearly the artist has gone to great effort to make the images look good and profitably so because they are outstanding. There's the Nine of Pentacles. There's a good example of it. She sort of looks a bit like that uh, woman. Who was that woman? Was it, who was the woman that used to have like the fruit on her head back in the old movies? It was well before my time, was it? Ida Lapina, or she used to be an Olympic swimmer, I think, and then used to be in the Hollywood films, the black and white things with a fruit bowl on her head, it seems. Well, that's jumped out, and it is, well, it didn't really jump out. It's, it was the hermit, but it's, it's, um, it didn't really jump out, I've got to say. It really fell out. I know the difference, you see. And that was just due to my clumsiness. Now that has jumped out, clearly. So, this is the Three of Wands. Okay, now, why don't you come with me, sit down, we'll have a good, next to me, we'll have a good close look at the imagery on these cards together, while I do the reading especially for you. Let's have a look at this first card that you drew, which is the Hierophant, and see what it has to say for you. In that position, opposite this Justice card, incidentally, and in this spread, well, the Hierophant is represented here by an owl sitting on a branch of an ancient tree with strong roots. There is a virtual labyrinth of twisting vegetation beneath him. Does this way lead anywhere? Does that way lead anywhere? How do you get out? That's the key to that ancient maze, almost. That's what a labyrinth is. It's a maze. Now, he is reading out of a book in front of a little girl, eagerly sharing his knowledge and wisdom with her. The girl is listening very attentively. The old tree represents traditions grown out of centuries. Now the card suggests that you can honor these traditions and fulfill society's expectations by embracing existing beliefs and conventions at a top level. It says that, but of course you should always have an open mind and use your intellect to see that things are in conformity with your own values. There are times in your life when you may feel lost, off-center, and disconnected in the labyrinth of life, uncertain about how to get back to your true self. Well, this is the time to seek the wisdom of the Hierophant. He is a spiritual advisor, the revealer of sacred information, and he helps you reconnect to your soul self. The Hierophant is the feeling or nudge within you to listen. 
He symbolizes the mediator between your spiritual world and your material world. He shows you the path of how to live a spiritual life on earth. Now the Hierophant's number here is five, and five here in this context is the spiritual self struggling to learn how to express itself in human form. Well, the Hierophant is the enlightened one to whom people come for guidance. He is the bridge between spirit and humanity. He shines spiritual knowledge and divine love into your heart, awakening you to your soul purpose. The Hierophant is your inner voice or feeling that calls you to practice your spiritual values in your everyday life. If you quiet yourself and listen, you can learn his lessons. Now, this energy indicates a need or a desire to discover the divine within. The Hierophant inspires you to walk your spiritual talk and to practice your personal religion with integrity and authenticity. Now, when the Hierophant appears, it might be a time when you are questioning your spiritual values and life. Well, this energy can indicate that there may be a need to seek spiritual guidance from, well, from a friend, a counsellor, or an advisor to help you get back on your spiritual track. Or you may find that you are teaching or advising others during this time, because the Hierophant brings a time to reevaluate your life but he also brings solutions. And the card reminds you to listen to your inner self, find your spiritual courage and your true destined path. Use the Hierophant's labyrinth, follow its spiritual path. It will take you to your heart, opening to spirit, gathering wisdom and knowledge then returning to your physical world with blessings of the divine. Now we can have a look at that other major arcana that's here. It's up on the same horizontal line, so it's obviously very important because it's at the top of the spread. Now let's have a look at it, shall we? And see what it may have to say to you just for this month. Well, the woman in this card represents justice and law. She sits on top of a tall building wearing a long flowing golden robe symbolizing her authority. Now, from her position, she has a good overlook and can judge without distractions. Her hair consists of clouds. You see this hair? And that connects her with the sky a symbol of wisdom and knowledge. Now in her right hand, she holds a sword, which stands for power and authority. And in the left hand, she holds a golden scale, which represents the balance of fairness and justice that she can achieve. And she is a reminder that all actions have consequences. So there she stands holding her scales in balance, weighing situations and making fair decisions. I think the scales are part of her actual being, her two-edged sword of discernment and intuition is lined up, keeping her decision-making in balance and ready for action. Now I think the sword represents what will be your clear, creative mind directly applying and bringing realistic answers and solutions to the table. Now the sword also represents strength and power that come from justice, holding her inner balance. Justice represents keeping your inner balance centered as you live your life in the chaos of the world. And she encourages you to look deep inside yourself and identify any contradictions which are throwing you off kilter, balancing your intuitive self and spiritual values with the conscious mind 
and your moral values. Well, that brings inner strength and clarity to make just decisions. Now, I'm looking at her number here. It is the number 11 in Roman numerals. And that is the number of vision, new consciousness, balance, heightened awareness, intuition, and insight. These are all going to be infused in you at this time. Now, justice represents the laws of nature, moral law, legal law, and the laws of the universe. She reminds you that there is divine justice. Her purpose is to be fair and impartial while seeking the truth and answers to a decision. She encourages you to weigh matters carefully before making important choices that are going to affect you and others, particularly those just around you. As she stands strong with intention, always taking the righteous path. And when justice arrives, as she has done here, she brings a choice or a decision that needs to be made. Justice whispers, don't be impetuous. Step back, connect with your spiritual and moral values, quiet your emotions, use discernment and your inner wisdom. Choose what you know is right rather than what you want to be right. Do and be the best that you can. Be a vessel for the divine light to shine through with the understanding of cosmic justice rather than just ego justice. Now she can bring forth legal matters and financial contracts, leases, homes, things like that. So review everything with scrutiny, get all the facts, cross your T's and dot your I's. Justice brings the gifts of fairness, harmony, truth, honesty, reason, and balance. I think a decision is going to be made. Now, I want to have a look at this one that's down here beneath Justice. I think this has got something obviously interesting to say as well. Let's have a look at the image, and that will give us some clue as to what is going on, I'm sure. Now, here we have, let me get my hand out of the way for you, there it is. Now a woman is standing in front of the harbour and she holds a ship in her hand. You see that ship that's there? And she's full of ideas to launch her future. She has bravely left her comfort zone and possesses the self-confidence to face the adventures awaiting her. The woman is very tall and from her lofty view, she can see beyond the horizon at what lies ahead. Now, you'll see a whole bunch of swallows twittering in the skies here. I think they inspire her movement towards exciting new places. And her three long winding braids show her progression from where she has come to where she is now. Three of Wands brings vision and foresight as you move forward in the quest of self-discovery and creation. It presents opportunity and new beginnings, bringing success, energy, creativity, and good fortune. The Three of Wands radiates new energy and creativity, bringing tremendous potential. The expanding energy brings excitement, renewal and growth. Everything flows in synchronicity. The Three of Wands is to connect with the energetic life forces of, of inspiration, really, and, and you'll move forward with confidence and courage towards new worlds of exploration. Its gifts, the gifts of this card, are trust, intuition, and faith. The Three of Wands, in a sense, in this position, symbolizes the adventuring soul. Now, it also represents the balanced trinity of the body, mind, and spirit working in harmony. It excites the awakening of your spiritual power, your mental confidence, 
physical energy and passionate heart directing you to your true purpose in life. The life force in you has connected to the divine energy, sparking your intuition, giving you power, focus and energy to create a joyful, creative life. Your horizons broaden beyond what you had ever dreamed possible. Uh, this energy burns with passion, integrity and commitment that wants to be maintained on all the levels. When you are confronted with confusing or conflicting thoughts or situations, check in with your body, mind and spiritual values. If they are not in agreement, take action to balance and realign them. Moving forward to a position and honor and strength and not from overreaction. The body, mind and spirit should always be moving in the same direction as you know. Because compromising one of these three aspects compromises your integrity and your vision. This is good news that this card has turned up as it brings creation, growth and renewal. Good fortune is going to shine on your path. Difficult experiences begin to dissipate. The Three of Wands brings success, accomplishment and new opportunities. It reflects teamwork and strong partnerships as well. And it can signal the birth of a child, I have to say, or a conception of a child. It presents a time when you are finding your true purpose. Something you have been wishing for has the opportunity to manifest in a greater form than imagined. Physically, it brings a strong life force. Mentally, it brings a powerful, creative imagination. Spiritually, it brings deep insight and awareness. Your life is in sync with the natural order of things and you are in the right place and at the right time to start your adventures and explore new horizons. Now, there is a very interesting looking woman over here, isn't there? Let's have a look at her. We'll come to this woman afterwards. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at you, madam. Well, a refined woman enjoys the beauty of her luxuriant garden. And she has made a selection of delicious fruit and carries them in a bowl on her head, as you do. The woman's colorful jewelry is a symbol of her wealth. Now her earrings, I'm looking down here, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, one, two, three, four, four, eight, nine, yeah, for the nine of, of the, um, of the card. And uh, so her earrings and rings consist of what really are nine beautiful stone, it's probably sapphires or something like that. She's obviously a woman of taste and style and substance. And the woman has a, as a result, a healthy relationship with money. And her financial independence allows her to enjoy the fruits of her labor. Now this tamed blue bird that's sitting there on her hand, I think that symbolizes the woman's sense of freedom and joy. And up here, this is interesting, have a look at that. There's a, there's a little snail there, and it's on the top of that bowl. And it is a reminder that the road to success is a slow, steady process. As I'm pretty sure, as the Buddha once said, the jug fills drop by drop. Now, I think she brings breakthrough and change in consciousness. You are moving away from fear-based behavior, understanding how to acknowledge your true wealth, your inner wealth with a full heart and a full life. Now, the three trinities of love, nature, will, humanity, and wisdom, higher self, they have unified, working through energy of the heart, now, the Nine of Pentacles brings success, promotion, gain in all areas of your life. 
maybe a sense of material well-being and good fortune. A goal will be accomplished. You are recognizing and experiencing your inherent abilities, allowing yourself to view a new horizon of possibilities. The magical journey has begun. Now, the key to the Nine of Pentacles is balancing your soul purpose with the collective consciousness, learning to prioritize, set boundaries with dedication when making choices and seeking goals. Now, the gift of this card is being blessed with abundance, but also knowing the inner wealth of your soul is more important than material gains. With the Nine of Pentacles, you realize your life's purpose. You act from a place of grace and gratitude with the awareness of your personal value. Secure and confident now, you no longer need the approval of others to make you feel worthy. You are now making choices with integrity true to your heart and soul. The beautiful sanctuary you created is abundant with things that you love and appreciate. You have grounded and seeded your heart energy, unfolding it into a special garden that only you could create. The wealth of your soul has and is manifested in your daily life. Now, when the Nine of Pentacles comes your way, as it has done now, you understand the abundance that comes when your heart, will and spirit works with Earth's energy all in alignment. Your heart is full. Your life is full. You are at peace with yourself and with all that is around you. Now, that takes us, I think, finally, doesn't it, to this Knight of Pentacles. Now, as I have said on numerous occasions, genders in court cards don't matter. And as if to exemplify the point, here we have a woman who represents the Knight of Pentacles. So what can we see here? Well, this female Knight of Pentacles sits on a horse, watching over a freshly ploughed field. She's in no hurry and stands thoughtful and vigilant on her watch. Her horse is made up of leaves from an oak tree by the looks of it, and that is a symbol of constancy and reliability. The knight is fulfilling her responsibility to guard the field, even though the job is sometimes difficult and can be monotonous. The Knight of Pentacles is the shaman of the four knights, I think. She embodies the elements of air, which is the mind, and earth, body, balancing and integrating the airy light of clear perception with the feminine energy of Mother Earth, and that results in divine reason that expands into spiritual inspiration and material manifestation. Now, the knight is at peace with herself and her environment, sensitive, stable, and reliable. She travels a meditative path on her quest. She works patiently and diligently with um, concentrated focus until her goals are completed. She can always be depended on. She doesn't let the distractions of life lead her off course. Devoted and dedicated to Earth's evolution, she is inspired to build a new world that supports the environment and serves humanity. Now, this knight takes full responsibility for her life, actions and her choices. She understands the need to make and keep commitments. The knight brings strength, face and peace to any challenge. Her pure and open heart is kind and strong. She is in tune with the feelings of others and the situation at hand. This magical knight really has mastered her five senses. Life force flows through her body in harmony and balance. As she works through the challenges of life by listening to her intuition, she feels, hears and sees how nature works by taking time to listen to what the environment communicates. 
Her meditative soul takes time to breathe in the air and all that is around her, sensing the next step of action to take. She teaches us peace in the heart, quietude and simplicity is the true inner wealth. She bridges the worlds of the divine and the physical, bringing the possibility of living heaven on earth. Now, she really reminds me of the archangel Uriel following the same path. They share the same element, earth. Uriel is the guardian of nature spirits. He brings us the gift of deep understanding of the natural laws of nature to humanity, as well as the light of God. Uriel is the angel of peace and forgiveness. Now, when this night has turned up, as she has done, she brings the gifts of success through hard work. She indicates finances are getting better or the coming of an unexpected financial gift. The night indicates the coming or going of material concerns and, and maybe working with investments as well, travel over land or changes in the areas of employment or health may come about. There may be an opportunity to move to a rural area for some people here. This night stresses the value of being grounded and paying attention to your physical well-being. She is an advocate of exercise, meditation in some respects as well, yoga, and consuming, more importantly, consuming healthy foods that nourish your body. The night brings physical strength and endurance. She signals a time to get in touch with all the five senses, including the sixth sense of perception. Uh, this Knight of Pentacles indicates a love relationship about to enter into your life that is gentle and sensual and the deepening and an addition of sensuality to an existing relationship and she brings the alchemy of bridging the divinely inspired ideas of air into the creation and manifestation of earth well i have to say that is a really really interesting spread for you this month well done that is the way it is for you. Fantastic, and I really enjoyed the artwork on these cards, I really must say. Now, if you want to look at the, more of the artwork, of course, just jump through to your rising sign or to your moon sign, and you'll, you'll see a spread of the different, different pieces of, of artwork and the different um, other signs as well. That, that's a thing that you can do that's there. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I love seeing you. Great to see you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the, well, I know you would have enjoyed that as much as I did providing it to you. Now, remember one thing, of course, and it is this, that you are a legend and I look forward to seeing you again next month. Until then, it's bye for now.